Hello there, this is Battleborn again. Today's video is going to go into narcissistic abuse and uh, I'm going to try to make you look at this from another angle. Um, what I have come to realize is that, um, well, let me start off by saying that uh, in the beginning, uh, and I'm somewhat still fresh from um, the narcissistic relationship, but in the beginning, uh, I took a lot of blame. I took a lot of, uh, I internalized a lot of um, things that happened and I was just, uh, even though I knew that this person I was dealing with was twisted and, and, and um, sadistic and all of this, I still couldn't, you know, get out of this relationship without um, carrying some of its weight on my shoulders and I guess that is a human thing to do like we we're never able to to uh, just just give the responsibility 100% to the other part you know but when you're dealing with people that are narcissistic it's it's not your fault and it's very important to understand that you were collateral damage in this relationship you happened to be the one that they were able to ensnare into this relationship. You could have been anybody else. You could have been someone else and the relationship would have looked just the same. Um, that is the important part to realize. It's important to realize that because it doesn't matter who these people ensnare or get into a relationship with, the relationship is going to turn out the same either way because these people are unhealthy. They are, yeah, you could use terms as crazy and twisted and all of that if, if that helps, but these people are basically unhealthy and they're going to destroy anybody that comes into contact with them because they're toxic, literally toxic. So it doesn't really matter who they are in a relationship with. It's always going to end up the same way because... Um, a normal healthy person will not endure their abuse period and it's never going to work and even though some people might um, stay in relationships for a longer time and some people end up with these people for their entire lifetime uh, in those instances I believe the narcissists are able to break down and destroy the other part so badly that they become totally dependent on the narcissist which the narcissist is which is what they really want but most of the time they are not able to do that um, and that's why the narcissist is lowering their game as they grow older because they realize you know most people won't take their shit so instead of the narcissist thinking that hey maybe i'm I, i'm going to change my ways and maybe i will attract some you know decent people into my life no they're not going to do that instead of doing that they're going to lower their game and aim for people that they can control more easily even more easily uh, and because like i said a normal healthy person will fight their abusive ways and their co controlling ways so the relationship is gonna always be fighting it's gonna always be uh, the other part getting triggered by the narcissist because the narcissist's demands are so unrealistic and the other part is using all his or her time into um, into explaining this to the narcissist time and time again like a, like a circle everything is a circle with the narcissist because it never ends and it never really you never really get to a point where the other person realizes that this is who you are so they're going to change so the narcissist is going to change according to that right because um, in a relationship there are always two people and and uh, a relationship is never perfect I'm not, that's not what i'm trying to 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 describe here but so there will always be uh, getting to know each other and learning how the other person responds to different situations but with the narcissist with the unhealthy toxic people they never change their ways they always keep up their demands and they're always raising the bar for for the expectations they have of you and you're never good enough 
never ever good enough in that relationship and that's what keeps you so stressed out and that's what eventually is going to lead to you leaving this relationship because either your body is going to break down and it's going to say get away you had enough or your mental health is going to break down which is the same it's a part of your body and and it's gonna you're gonna just go into a severe depression or whatever and you're not going to be able to to uh, play the game as you used to do at the same level uh, at, at the level the narcissist demands from you right so the relationship is going to break up that way um, and it's important to remember that with a narcissist it's, it's not really a relationship it's more like a slave uh, camp that's my impression of it it's not a relationship it's not a mutual understanding relationship where two parts are trying to to put into um, put put good energy into this relationship totally it's, it's totally reversed it's it's one person trying to fix a relationship that never was intended to work in the first place the narcissist never had intentions of making this relationship work with you and that's the crazy part they know that what they're doing is is twisted and crazy and sick and they know that their demands of you are totally unrealistic and they know that you are never ever going to be able to meet these demands but this is what is fun to them because they see that you're trying in your and you're and you're kind of like stretching yourself you're always trying to to do more for this person and this other person is is and the narcissist is like uh, ungrateful no matter what you do and of course sometimes they will come in with a couple of breadcrumbs of, of love to make you stay in the relationship but it's always just just raising the bar stressing you out and keeping you on this short leash of, of control which is essential to the narcissist but back to where I started being that if you are in a relationship with a narcissist look at this as collateral damage you just happen to bump into this person it's nothing personal even though everything is personal but in, in, in the end it's not really personal because the narcissist is the unhealthy one not you even though the narcissist is telling you that you are the unhealthy one they are always doing this and always telling that you that you are the crazy one you are the angry one you are the, you're basically the one with all the problems okay they are they're never ever admitting to having any problems they're never getting angry they're uh, never upset they're never you know it's always you you are the one that is crazy and this is this is this is their way of of, of making you crazy basically but remember that this person would never ever have a healthy relationship no matter who came into their life it doesn't matter who it was or who it will be it will always turn out the same way because this person is sick it, they are crazy they like I said they are the crazy one but everything is twisted with the narcissist so they're gonna make you think and believe and act as if you are the crazy one so it's not really complicated um, you just have to understand like I said that this is just um, think of it as if you're in traffic and, and and you meet a bad driver a driver that rams into you and you go like hey what the fuck are you doing and the other person is telling you that you drove into the into the wrong le into the wrong lane and you know you didn't but the other driver insists that you did it's kind of like the same game with the narcissist where you know that you didn't do anything wrong but the narcissist insists on it yes you did you did that you say that you 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 didn't do this or yeah it could go both ways that you did things or you didn't do things that you actually did and it's all a mind game it's all trying to make you crazy and doubt yourself and it's a big big and I emphasize that doubting yourself is exactly what the narcissist wants you to do and it is what's going to happen because people that endures and, and goes through relationships with narcissists are usually kind of strong people um, but nobody is bulletproof nobody is made of steel so even though you you have a thick skin the narcissist will get to you with their jabs because they're jabbing at you all day every day and nobody is is designed to take that kind of shit 
and abuse day in day out no one nobody is going to to make that so why I wanted to make this video is basically just just try to look at this situation that you are in even though it's dark as shit and it's severe and it's it's horrible or the situation that you used to be in with this person but it now plays out as CPTSD in your life or PTSD you have to realize that it's not your fault that's the, that's exactly what you need to tell yourself and that's where you need to start to dig yourself out of that hole and to get out of that hole you need to understand that this was not your fault and no matter what kind of person that entered the narcissist the narcissist's life it wouldn't have turned out any different way it would have been exactly the same of course it would have been some minor differences because there's a different person but the end would be the same where the narcissist is wearing down and destroying their their partner because that's what narcissists do and we can sit here and we can discuss if the narcissist is is uh, in if their intentions is to destroy the other person or not um, we can discuss that but it doesn't really matter because that's what ends up happening either way so but my uh, from my understanding when you're dealing with a sadistic narcissist yes that's their that's their motivation that is exactly what they want that's what they thought about uh, when they saw you in the first place was that this person is a person with a lot of resources because narcissists do not engage with people that are um, out of resources be it financially or uh, emotionally they need a person that is up for their play and up for their game so they need a person that is that is uh, able to take a lot of abuse and people that are having a lot of resources emotionally and financially usually can take more than a person that is already worn down right so this this is it basically you happen to run into a crazy person and i'm not saying that you know to be funny they are crazy and they are twisted and evil and you happen to do that now you're hopefully out of it or you have come to realize that you have to get out of it because you have to get out of it and um and uh, like I said, this just you know, just see this person in front of you, the person that you used to be with, and just think about this person as, 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 as something that you were unfortunate to run into. I do believe we have a lot to learn from these relationships, but I don't believe that we are meant to look at this as from a, from a, like a very deep um, spiritual understanding of ourselves because um, we are when we do that we tend to take on a lot of blame for the relationship and we shouldn't we shouldn't we have dealt with a very very malignant evil person for a long time and it's not helping us or them or anybody else that we sit back after this relationship and go through our heads and think that oh Maybe if I did this, maybe if I did that, maybe if I became more uh, enlightened, spiritual, all of these things. You, the truth is, you were a good person to begin with, most likely. Narcissists do not engage with other bad people. Narcissist needs to know that they are the main predator in the relationship. So just the fact that they have engaged with you means that you are a good person, or at least that you have a good heart. Because the narcissists... Uh, are attracted to that they're attracted to, to destroying and 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 yeah destroying good people so just just distance yourself from the person emotionally take a look at it and realize that you were at the wrong place at the wrong time big time but now you are working your way out of it okay so I hope this helps you and realize that none of this was your fault. None of this was your fault. Uh, it doesn't matter if this is your family member either. You know, you happen to be born into a family with a narcissist as a mother or a narcissist as a father um, or a brother or, or whatever. Um, that's not your fault either. You were just born into this family and this was the family, family din dynamics. Okay. So again collateral damage 
I'm sorry to say, uh, but from the narcissist's point of view, they are doing everything with intentions. So you have to ask yourself, what are your intentions? Intentions are basically uh, the main word here, because if your intentions are to destroy another person or to hurt another person, which it is for the narcissist, then they are the person that is doing the wrong things in this relationship and not you. You were just looking for a good relationship. You didn't have any intentions of hurting this other person or hurting this other part. Um, we all can hurt another person unintentionally, but that is very different from hurting another person with intent. So I'm going, I'm going to make a video on that later on, but I just wanted to make this video and get it out there. So I hope this helps you, whoever listens in. And thank you for listening in and have a good day.